Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Microsoft Edge web browser appears to be creating a desktop shortcut automatically, just pretty much every time you attempt to open it up. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup above it. So if anything to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now, now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Go down to policies and double click on that one as well. And there should be a Microsoft folder in here. Just go ahead and right click on the Microsoft folder. Select new and then select key. Name this key edge update case sensitive here. So again, edge update, the E in edge and the U in update should be capitalized and hit enter. And now on the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area, select new and then select D word 32 bit value. Name this value create desktop shortcut Default, exactly as you see on my screen, first letter of each word should be capitalized, no spaces in here. So again, create desktop shortcut default, hit enter, double click on this newly created value, and then delete the zero in here. Type the number one in the value data field, base should remain hexadecimal, select OK, and then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.